1970s saw historic developments in K-State and college athletics, starting with the addition of Jack Hartman, hired in 1970 as head men's basketball coach. Under Hartman's leadership, the Wildcats would claim three Big 8 regular season and Big 8 tournament championships in this decade, while also capturing two Elite Eights, three Sweet 16s, and four NCAA tournament appearances. Among the star players for the Wildcats during this time was Lon Kruger, a two-time Big 8 Player of the Year honoree, Mike Evans, the Wildcats' second leading scorer of all time and a fellow two-time Big 8 Player of the Year honoree, and Chucky Williams, who was a two-time All-American. Women's basketball began in 1968 as an official intercollegiate sport. But it wasn't until 1971 that Judy Akers began her legendary run of success with the program's first postseason appearance in the AIAW Region Tournament. From that point on, Akers' teams averaged 22 wins a season and posted a then school record 28 wins in 1975-76, claiming the first of four consecutive regular season Big 8 championships. With the implementation of Title IX in 1972, allowing for equal opportunities for athletic scholarships for female student athletes, many female sports achieved intercollegiate status, including volleyball, which began its first season in 1974. In track and field, Terry Anderson became the first woman to earn All-American status in that sport for K-State, winning four Big 8 titles over her career. On the men's side, Jerome Howe became the only male athlete to ever win two cross-country All-American honors, while also earning a total of six All-American citations during his track and field and cross-country career. While football struggled to maintain success during the 70s, one highlight was the All-American career of linebacker Gary Spaney, who not only still is the all-time school leader in career tackles, but was the first Wildcat ever to be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame.